here with the 2015 Principal Charity Classic champion, Mr. Mark Kalkovecchia. One of the things we'd love to have you do is that hopefully you never experience uh, the bunkers coming up here in the next month. But uh, what we'd love to do is spend just a couple of moments talking to us about how you approach just a, a garden variety greenside bunker shot. What's okay. your thought process, what's your setup, and how you ex ex execute the shot. All right. Uh, I think the first and most important thing to a just a normal greenside bunker shot is setup. I think that's the biggest uh, mistake amateurs make is when they get into a bunker, it's too far back in their stance and their club face is square to shut. Uh, the whole uh, most important thing to hitting good bunker shots is, is setup. Uh, stance should be open and the club face should be open so you can use the, the, the flange or the bounce of the sand wedge to splash through the sand and thus to get the ball out and not, not dig into the sand. So here, here's my end, knee flex also. You, you, you don't want to come standing here all rigid and stiff. You need to get your knees flexed in a nice open position. And then I, I look two inches behind the ball and that's where I want my club face to enter. Not the standard, normal. 10 yard bunker shot. Here's another one. I'll hit this one a little bit shorter. And again, the ball's here and I'm trying to hit about two inches behind it. Pretty much every time on a, on a normal shot. If I want to hit a little bit higher, uh, if I've got a little bit shorter bunker shot with a big lip, I'll uh, move, move it up in my stance a little bit and get a little bit more steep with my with my swing. So in other words, just like if you're trying to hit it high from the fairway, you want to move it up to add loft to the to the club face. And I'll take probably a little bit bigger swing. And it'll go a little bit higher and a little bit shorter. Conversely, if you want to hit a little bit lower bumper shot and have it roll out a little bit more back in the stance just a little bit, not quite as open. Same thing, two inches behind the ball, not quite as upright. That'll be a little longer bumper shot with a little more roll. So that's more or less how I adjust the uh, height of my bumper shots. Perfect. On the Champions Tour uh, and on the PGA Tour, the percentage of up and down rate from the bunker shot uh, onto the green and, and converting the putt, what is the percentage ballpark on the Champions Tour and maybe how that relates to the PGA Tour? You know, I think it's about the same. Uh, we are still excellent bunker players at our ages. Uh, a lot of times, and probably more times than not, we'd rather be in a bunker than in the tall rough around the green where we can't spin it as much. Uh, one of my old philosophies my whole career was on par fives uh, was to try to get it into a greenside trap. If I couldn't hit the green in true, two, my next goal was to try to get it into a greenside trap so I could uh, get a little speed under it and get my uh, L wedge to work and try to get it up and down from the bunker. Uh, so I think the leaders usually are around 70% uh, for the year and that's, that's taken into consideration varied lies and and shots that you just can't get up and down. Sometimes you, you, you leave yourself in an impossible situation. But on a, on a normal, easy bunker shot like this, you feel like you should get the ball within five or six feet every time. And of course, then you need to make the putt. 